Right, I tell you, there, champs. Wow, there's been a lot of news in the last couple of days, and here's another one. I have a deal for you guys. If you're stuck with Windows Home and you want to get Windows Pro, or you just want cheap office keys, gaming keys, or gift card vouchers, head on down to 09, look in the description for the links and a discount code to get even more of a discount. AMD Raiden Vega Mobile Graphics. Whoa, and these are game changing. These are freaking game changing. Now, you may or may not know the MacBook Pro the new ones are coming out in November with uh, Radeon Pro Vega Graphics. And what they're saying here is basically it uses HBM memory, so it's double the bandwidth. If you have a look, you can have a look at this in the background. Doubles the memory bandwidth, so compared to, say, the NVIDIA cards, you're going to have much more memory bandwidth. And that allows it to use less power with this HBM memory as well. So that enables you to actually use more power for the GPU itself. Now, if these are going in the max, when you consider that the max, I think the Radeon Pro 560 uses 35 watt TDP. Now that graphics card is about roughly a bit below a GTX 1050. Now I want to know, would you like these in your XPS 15, your ZenBook Pro, your Lenovo Extreme, your Razer? Now, I don't think they will come out in those products just because I think there's probably some contracting with Nvidia and stuff like that and just probably squash all this, but the Max will get it for sure. But would you like it in your XPS 15 or whatever, any 15 inch laptop? Would you like Radeon Pro graphics? If by the calculations Apple are making, and here you can see here, we'll just zoom in on this. If what Apple are claiming is 60% faster, and you've got to remember it's just below a GTX 1050, with the old graphics card, 60% faster. I expect, you know, with the Cabby Lake G parts in the XPS 15 2 and one you're looking at around, you know, a GTX 1050 sort of power. I can imagine these will be more powerful in between a 1050 Ti and maybe GTX 1060. Wow. At a 35 watt package, I mean, this is Apple. Apple use it. They're going to, you know, configure down that TDP to suit their system. But I can imagine that, you know, you could have it 35 watt TDP. You probably get more performance with the Vega 20. You probably could go up to 50 watts TDP if, you know, um, XPS, say, Dell wanted it or something like that. Very interested. Would you like an AMD graphics card in your 15 inch laptop? And I don't know. I think yes, if they use the lower powered one, but give us the performance of, you know, a GTX 1050 Ti or around there, but with lower power. I would love that. But I mean, Premiere Pro uses CUDA cores, so yeah, it's hard to say. We'll have to wait until they actually ship in laptops. I can't wait to actually test this uh, game-changing graphics from AMD. I'm really glad that they're in the game now. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. And if you like these videos, come on, be a champ, give me a like subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Tally ho.